our own families point of view or compliments that I hear from other people. So I am here today with due respect of my dad from his humble beginnings, his struggle. He's not a graduate, but his spirit fights from an early age that he could even have a chance to work in Shell. Started straight school in Surya, met my mom, started his real career when Shell transferred him here to Miri. And he began starting his goal for that on. I only could recall when I was young. The time that I spent with him fishing, the only time that I could remember and cherish. But after that, we have no time to fish. My father, I never could understand this old man. Apart from taking care of our family from his work, he still contributes his time to the community in what he believes. And what he believes strive him, motivate his spirit to do what he can especially whatever that is impossible to be possible. As what Father Pilos, I really appreciate what you have said about my father's contribution and effort for this church. I didn't know about this until it was duly informed to me and my brother. I don't know how much involvement he was, but I don't know that initially this was his idea. That I only found out recently. Can I thank you to Father Pilu to highlight that to me and my brother? Growing up, I've seen many things that my dad has to go through. He has made family life, social life, and politically. But this amazing man, he somehow finds his way to balance everything all at once. Never ask to be appreciated, even though was promised some recognition. But he did all this without asking anything in return. Continue to do all this to all our family, for all our family, while doing goodwill, generous time for the community, for our longhouse, everyone in Baran. And apparently everyone throughout Sarawak. I don't know how much people he has influenced, but I got a text from somebody last night telling me, even though in a short period of time, he knows my dad. He was inspired so much by him. And I was surprised from this young fellow who texted me, telling me about inspiration and advice given by my dad. And there are several more in the past few months that I 
found out later sometimes people don't know I'm Richard Will's son so when people talk about Richard Will I'm blessed enough to hear the good and the bad of it but I don't want to talk about the bad I just want to talk about the good comments that people talk about him because most of them allow me to know more about my father his vision and his mission in his life goal and apparently uh, more that I need to know left out I have few more I that's friend sorry that is still here to tell me more about him but I'm, I want everyone here who doesn't really know Richard Will or who he is to know that He's a man, uh, amazing man. <coughs> I don't know if he's a chameleon or what. He just can adapt to situation the best way he can. He helps generously to many people which I later found out even though he's not a rich man but still contribute what he can in any way he possibly could to help anyone who asked for him For those of you who just know him, maybe there's not much to look at about this great man that I'm proud to call my dad. But for all of you, or the rest of you who know him from day one, or from his political days, or from the church, each of you holds a puzzle of his spirit with each of you when we combine all this understanding of who Richard Will is it is one big picture to me because I don't know my father that well which I thought I did but I know someone else has the puzzle of him so for me all of you here are the puzzle of my father's life that makes the vision. All of you, I thank on behalf of my family because it is through you I know more about my dad. It's been a big struggle for him. I don't know how he get that energy, that thought of strength, motivation, and spirit. Whether he achieved his mission and vision or not, I can tell for these last moments, there's Many remorse in his tears, in his eyes. For he knows he still have a lot to do. But for my family, 
my cousins, whose father was his sibling, mother was his sibling, and apparently he was the one last standing sibling among all his siblings. We make our peace because we want him to rest. We don't want him to carry on with his burden, his pain. Although he believes his goal is not achieved yet, but he has done so much. This man who rejected the top ship twice in his political career, for he feels he's not worthy to be given a recognition of that talk. Whether it's state level or in the federal. This is the man that I'm proud to call my father. And this is a man with a heavy heart that I have to tell him it's time for you to rest. The rest of us will be fine. Your vision and mission lives through all who knows you. And you shall be developed and moved forward by those who know and understand your vision. And it is time for him to finally rest his mind and not worry about anything anymore. So my last thing I want to say to everyone of you and those who are not here who also attended the way, who gave me messages, who calls me, call my brother, my mom, my wife about him. All of you are important to us in me and my family's life because through all of you holds the puzzle of who my father are, who my father was, and through you, you are the one that makes the picture of the legacy of Richard Wheel. And I thank you all for being here, for being a friend, for being supportive in his life. And I'll
finish it. Thank you. 